Here is a week in my life as a sophomore marketing major at Notre Dame. This footage is accidentally from a month ago because I had a ton of exams, a ton of papers, I've been super stressed out and then I just didn't make time to edit. But I would say this was a busier week in my life. This was really when midterms was happening. And on this particular week, I had a really big stats exam and I also had a paper for my history of American capitalism class. So that made for a fun week. You guys, I am so happy. So I was in class and then I got an email that I got into this project for a club. And so basically I joined this club that has 12 projects in it and it's all based on policy. It's called the Student Policy Network and you had to apply into these projects and I was really stressed because getting into clubs here is so competitive and there are 12 projects but each project takes six to eight people and for the general interest meetings that I went to for the projects, 40 people came to each meeting, um, which like there were like over 100 people in like who came to the club meeting. And I thought, oh, like the general interest meeting will be a lot smaller. But there were 40 people that came to like the general interest meeting for that specific project. And I applied to three projects and you apply to multiple projects in hopes that you'll get one of them. And I got my first choice project and I'm so happy. I almost started crying in class and I know that's so dramatic, but I don't know, so, like getting into clubs here is so hard and like I always feel like I'm not that smart compared to everyone so to like get into a club that I really wanted to do is just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm literally so happy. I'm so excited and yeah, I, I'm not even joking. Like I had tears in my eyes in class. Like I'm so dramatic for no reason, but yeah, that is definitely the boost of confidence that I needed today. Um, but I'm so excited, literally so excited. And our applications, we had to write, like, for the project that I wanted, I had to write a two-page paper, bro. Like, like, it's kind of insane, but... <laughs> I really liked what I wrote about and I also liked the other projects I applied to but I really wanted this one and I'm so happy um yeah but clubs here they just do too much but I'm not gonna complain anymore because I got into this project that I wanted for this club so yay so happy okay like yay! okay sorry I know I'm really dramatic but I don't know like sometimes like here I just feel so stupid compared to other people so to like get into something that's like that I had to like apply into that required like some intellect makes me feel really good so yeah yay I never really go to the library to do my work or write an essay because usually the library is really busy and honestly it's kind of depressing in there so which is why I typically don't go in there but I was honestly so desperate to get this essay done and lock in that I was forcing myself to go to the library so I would have no distractions which may seem counterintuitive because I said that there are a lot of people at the library which people don't really bother me I actually usually like noise whenever I study and write essays but I had to lock in so I went in the reading room Room, which is a completely silent room and I wrote my essay couldn't go on my phone because I get anxiety that if I like listen to music or watch a video everyone can hear it because the reading room is like dead silent so it's a really good way to force me to focus on what I'm doing y'all I have been so productive today I just finished my stats homework due tonight love that for me also I finished my essay at like 5 p.m. like who is she I know literally right as as soon as I was done with class, I came to talk to you guys and call my parents. And then I walked my ass over to the library and I went to a reading room, which I never go to the reading rooms because it's like dead silent in there. And I'm someone to where like I move around a lot. I go on my phone, I play videos while I do my homework and just to like make it more enjoyable. But I had to lock in. I literally put my phone like across the table so I could sit there and do my work, like no music, no nothing, just like writing essays. And and who would have thought that when you have no distractions, you actually get your work done in a decent amount of time? Who would have known? Uh, not me. But yeah, we locked in, we got it done. Um, it's nice that I, to know that I have something written, uh, but it's just literally shitty. So 
we pretty much have to fix all of it so love that for us so the plan is is i need to go to mass today at nine i wanted to go yesterday but it was at 11 a.m <laughs> and i woke up at like 2 30 p.m and i was like damn it <laughs> so we're gonna go today and mass on mondays is only 30 minutes so it's like not a big deal um and i've been really making a commitment to myself to go every week so we're gonna doing that today and then because i'm the type of person i'm like oh i have so much to do blah 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 and it's like you're always going to be busy so i'm really making a commitment to go every single week and then and then come back and fix my essay i'm blocking out like two hours for that hopefully it'll be done by midnight and yeah at this point i'm like eh like it, it, it's good enough it's good enough okay we're not gonna fail but yeah honestly like my essay is about like um women in the colonial area and colonial colonial era why does that word sound wrong I, I i don't know my brain is like mush and honestly if my professor doesn't give me an a it's because he hates women no i'm just kidding but obviously that was a joke okay but yeah Tuesdays and Thursdays are always such a struggle for me because my class starts at 9 30 which is my ethics class and having that many classes when I was so stressed about my exam the following day for stats was so tiring especially because you can't just go to class you obviously have to prep for your classes by doing readings or homework or whatever so that was just so annoying that I had to do that when my mind was really on my stats exam not to mention the paper that I had to turn in this very day and I'm not even gonna lie to you I did not end up doing my history of american capitalism readings for class because i was too focused on finishing my paper for the class which is obviously more important so i was literally reading the readings as i was walking to class hey you guys haven't had a chance today to talk but it is currently 2 a.m and i'm for sure not going to bed before 5 a.m so that's great but i'm only on chapter five of reviewing for my stats exam which we had seven units for this exam and my professor made three assignments due tonight and I've just had so much going on that I just and tomorrow's gonna be such a long day I'm not even gonna lie I just want to start crying and give up but I can't so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, so on Wednesday is when I had my stats exam, but I had to go to my media entrepreneurship class first. And this class was pretty fun. We learned about VR, but honestly, it's hard to enjoy something when your mind is on the exam that you have to take. I try to be relaxed whenever I have exams because I'm usually a ball of stress and I try to like relax myself whenever I take it. The nice thing about this exam was that we got a cheat sheet which was super helpful, but still, I feel like whenever you get a cheat sheet, it's usually a hint that the exam is not gonna be as easy as you think it is. Then I went to my Just Wage Research Lab class, which I like this class, but it is two and a half hours, so to go to it after an exam kind of was a beat down. Hey y'all, I just got done with class. It's almost 6.30. It's like 6.15 right now, love that. I haven't been in my dorm since like noon. <laughs> Oh, so it's been a really long day, but my exam I think actually went pretty well Like I was doing the questions and I was like, okay I'm not completely clueless that I know of I haven't gotten the score back yet, but I felt pretty good about it Honestly, so that, that's that's good because I've been studying for stats and I had my paper due yesterday I pretty much put off doing work for all my other classes. So it's gonna be a grind. I can't even relax, but I'm just sort of like, okay, if I grind for like three hours straight, then I can have a break and go to sleep early, but I never go to sleep early, so we'll see. Okay, you guys, I've actually done such a bad job about filming today, but it's actually midnight, and yeah, today I did go to class, but I accidentally woke up late and missed a few of my classes. Emma's brushing her teeth. <laughs> um... But yeah, I accidentally missed a few of my classes. Oops. But I did end up going to the ones that I woke up in time for. And you can literally hear some people outside. Okay. Um, and yeah, came back. I've been working on the same assignment for like four hours. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. I have a really long day tomorrow. So that's fun.
Okay y'all, I came back from class. I did change because I woke up at 9.20 for my 9.30, so literally rolled out of bed, went to class, came back. Then I'm changing and I have a lot to do today. I have to go work on a group project, then I have a meeting for my on-campus job, then I'm helping with junior parents weekend, so just a lot going on. Today's gonna be a busy day. I'm not gonna be back at my dorm till 7 p.m., so love that. <laughs> Guys, it's a few hours later, but it's like what what time is it? Like 8:40 right now. 8:40. Emma goes, "So, what do you think I got on my exam this morning?" And I was like, "A 100." Because Emma's a genius. Thank you. <laughs> what did you get, Emma? 100. <laughs> No, like I literally told her I was like this is not even a shock because it's more shocking when Emma doesn't get a 100 on something and she's an engineer Emma, <laughs> oh, A true woman in STEM we love to see it <laughs> And it was really hard, right? It what is thermo thermo? Was, yeah And you had another exam this morning. Yeah, I had Diffy Q2 this morning and then I have two more next week. So yay <laughs> No, she will literally show me her homework and it's like she has this special paper she has to write <laughs> on <laughs> Like yeah Check on the girls in STEM for real <laughs> Hey you guys, thank you guys so much for watching I'm going to end my Friday night actually having a life So love that for me And yeah, bye